these guys felt especially after modi coming to power again and after the uh, abrogation of article 370 that happened immediately after he came you know took office the second the second time and i think 5th august was the article 370 abrogation and then came the caa so uh, these were just these guys were totally frustrated you know they were um, so they they were like it was an attempt to vent so much anger that was pent up over the last 6 years impotent anger you know anger that could not result in modi being beaten in 2019 elections and that just spilled on and in a very uh, strange way the bjp also supported it because uh, you know it was clearly an illegal protest they had blocked the road uh, they were inconveniencing millions of uh, commuters delhiites uh, it was clearly hindu phobic you know all that anger that came out was pure pure hindu phobia and they were called five five year old children saying we're going to kill modi i'm going to kill amit shah and there were two infants four infants who died in that bitter cold as well and they were proclaimed as uh, martyrs and you know so all those things were happening and uh, the bjp kind of did not um, you know did not do anything about it so i i still don't know the reason why i think they thought that maybe it's going to translate into so much anger against it that it's going to help them ultimately they are also politicians you know they're not doot ke dhule koi nahi so but it actually led to riots so i think had they had they had they acted swiftly in november uh, the riots wouldn't have happened